Hello everybody, this is Snowyfrog with a tutorial on how to place your roof on the 12th floor. First you're gonna do is take the scaffolding and you're gonna go down to the 11th floor. As you can see here I've placed a lot of items on the 10th floor. So that's okay. Um, and by the way, it's the house we built earlier where we built the first two floors. I've just continued all the way up. So on the eleventh floor, you're gonna do like this: place the scaffolding all around. And I'm gonna start the game so my small townies can start running. Um, this one in the middle here may not be placed, but if I do it like this, it's gonna be placed pretty much all of it, and I can just quickly do the rest. And you see my prioritizing, I'll move the walls up and uh, the lumber should be okay. And then you can see there's a small roof here now. I just want all the scaffolding placed before I do anything, so. And they're coming there. As you can see, they just placed that level making it so that the next level will also be able to be placed without a problem. The reason why I placed the scaffolding uh, like this is because it's a two-story building. Each floor has two stories. They won't be able... Uh, they can go from this floor up to the scaffolding and from the roof they can go down and down. But if I hadn't placed the scaffolding they would get stuck up here. Technically, they could still get stuck if they were dumb and placed four around, so you may have to remove one of them, uh, one of the small bits, but that's okay. Don't think we're gonna need it. Now they're almost done building the scaffolding here. And then I'm gonna go over taking the roof here. And I'm just gonna start by doing the sides because that's where they can get stuck. There's all the scaffolding and now we can place the roofs. The roof tiles going all the way around on these. I could technically also do this and this without any problems. Then they shouldn't be able to get stuck anywhere. And I'll just put the speed a bit up. I've got that. So we're moving at max speed now. And they placed it right. And as you can see, they'll quickly. Oh, I have a pause. Oh, that's just a siege. Just a moment, and I'll take care of that. Oh. <laughs> well, doesn't matter. A few bad guys. And the roof. As you see, it's quickly coming along. At this time, I'd say you can just take like this and do the entire room. There is not that big of a chance that the townies will get stuck because of all the scaffolding. If I hadn't placed the scaffolding, the likelihood, first of all, that they had problems coming up, but they would also have the ability to get stuck somewhere. And as you know the townies, they're very good at getting stuck somewhere. And there as you can see, they've built the ray around them, like we did before. I will just set them to build this again, just if there was an error. But, let's see. 
And now as you can see, the rooms will quickly get filled in. And the workers doesn't have any problems going up or down. And they're actually doing it quite easy. This being the 12th level. You can see how the roofing parts keep coming up. And now you would think they would get stuck in these areas, but... Oh, and... Oh, he got out. So now they'll just keep on roofing this all over. As you can see now the roof is almost done. We'll just see when the last tile will be placed. Make sure that there will not be any citizens trapped on the roof. And which one come first? There and there. So nobody's place here. We'll go down one floor and we'll take the destroy scaffolds and we'll just mark this and our cute little townies will remove the scaffoldings again so that's looking a bit nicer but as you can see here no problem this looks nice with the light and everything and these scaffoldings will be removed and as you can see the rest of the scaffolding is almost done I chose to do this myself because my townies were a bit too slow so I just removed them by cl right clicking here and destroy scaffolding just to check again that I've removed all of them and there is no blocks highlighting so the roof is now on We've got the two story flights here, and we've got a few of them, one, two, three, four floors. And in this one I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen in each floor. So this is a house for 56 people, which is um, okay. You can expand them however you feel like, of course. Now I know how to place the roof on it and how to do the rest of the flooring. See you later. Bye.